In the year 1684, the Vatican removed 14 books from the Bible. To this day, there is no explanation as to why, and the Vatican is happier with the general population not knowing. There were originally 80 books in the Bible when it was translated from Latin to English back in 1611. These days, there are only 66. The missing books are known as the Apocrypha, which in Greek means hidden. The missing books include Esdras, Tobit, Judith, the Wisdom of Solomon, the Songs of the Three Holy Children, Bell and the Dragon, Maccabees, and the Prayer for Manasses. Even stranger is that Jesus' name was spelled Aesus before these 14 books were removed. The Church changed the pronunciation and spelling. Why were these mysterious books removed? There are many theories. Some say the contents of the books didn't fit in with the Roman Catholic. What's up, Scorpios? How y'all doing? Some of you guys need to open up your windows. Get some Palo Santo, okay? All right, so I am burning this because, you know, I just want to get some some smell smells up in here. Um, so, you know, maybe you guys also need to cleanse your area, cleanse your space. I do a deep cleanse every morning and every night at 5 a.m. Open up the windows, air this motherfucker out, you know. It's just good to replace the energy. This is good because it's about abundance and success and prosperity. So it's always really good to replace the energy with this. Sage is good too, okay? All right, so what's up, Scorpios? How y'all doing? This is 1028 Awakenings, and I am back again with a motherfucking video. So let's figure out what's brewing. This is some serious shit. I don't say it's too serious, but it just be some crazy shit in these cars, <laughs> okay? So let's see what's brewing for you. Maybe this is going on behind the scenes, and you don't know this is happening. All right, so I feel like, Scorpio, ain't nobody bring nothing to your door. But some of you guys, some people have brought some things to your gate bruh okay energetically and spiritually all right but you still peep game and i strongly feel like it's not affecting most of you scorpios you just know that somebody is doing some fuck shit all right all right scorpios let's see what's going on sideways okay so somebody is definitely envious of you and they're like i'm not envious of her you know i'm not envious of him nigga yes you are okay because why you got so much goddamn aggression in your voice like where does that shit come from all right so somebody is secretly envious of you and it's kind of hard, Scorpio, because it's like every time you try to make a friend, you try to put them on game, you try to teach them how you're doing your little situation, they end, they end, they end up being jealous of you. They, they're secretly envious, okay? Now, Scorpio, you do have a hint on who the fuck this person is. You do. With envy here in reverse, you've seen this person talk shit about you, jab you, you know, roast you, sometimes even in your damn face, okay? Roasting could have been part of your generation or your word of speech. Damn. Okay, so Scorpio, let's see what we got here, all right? So this is somebody that you cut ties with, but you circle back, okay? This person strategically did this shit. So this person could have paid you as a client. This person could have did that. This person could have two kids, all right? Two little girls or two little boys. But you need to know that this person secretly envies you, bruh. But envy is here in reverse. So they could love you. But with energetic cords here in reverse, you did not cut the cords, okay? And they're strategically coming into your life for some kind of financial stability. Or they don't want to cut this cord off, okay? Envy is here in reverse. So it could be a secret betrayal. Or they already could have betrayed you. Or honestly, you betrayed this person, Scorpio. With envy here in reverse, I feel like you may have did some fucked up shit. And you're carrying a lot of guilt with this girl, okay? Or with this dude who got two kids. You strategically try to be there for this person and have this person's back, you know, because you wasn't there. Sometimes, Scorpios, when we drop the ball, we be like, fuck. And we be indebted to people when we really shouldn't even be indebted. You've already paid this back, okay? But you feel bad, bruh, okay? You could have told this person a secret, all right? Ooh, secrets revealed. Damn, hell yeah, that's crazy. So, Scorpio, and some real nigga shit, with envy here in reverse, you love somebody unconditionally. This could be a person who carries two kids. You revealed this person's secret, and you didn't mean to do it. Strategically, this person think you did it on purpose, but you did not, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like you feel always embedded to this person. When they need you, when they call you, you show up. Whew, 
Scorpio, you need to live out loud or maybe you are. Maybe you have a platform for a lot of people feel like they know your personal business or they're deeply connected to you. Nonetheless, this is going to give you a lot of praise and recognition. A lot of people love the fuck that you're authentic as fuck, okay? But with living out loud, you have also learned there is an art to drumming or just dancing freely. So a lot of you guys need to move your body, okay? Y'all need to go ahead and get you some dance movements going off. Y'all can see me. I'm doing a little, a little shaka shaka oshe. I say okay so you need to get you a little dance I don't care if you white black ugly or white okay uh, I just seen Michael Jackson I know you don't say ugly or white but he'd be like I don't know it was just a whole bunch of fucking faces it had to be a video um anyway so anyway there was a storm that came between the both of you guys this could be a person that has really long hair but this person really did come in and they put a lot of static around your name or the situation we're talking here there's a lot of things that have been left unsaid in this relationship with this storm and this bitch having all these rings here now somebody feels like they're divinely orchestrated in this ring of circle and there's a lot of storms that came up so there might have been a, yes gossip and betrayal okay so scorpio you got a friend here you're not envious of them you actually fucking love them this person has two kids two daughters or two sons okay this person secretly could be envious of you because reading the board upside down there is a person that has two kids they're envious of you this person could be feeling like you they got secrets for you like you you could have um this person could have did something for you that that is like i don't know a, a big big secret and they want to reveal it they want to be like oh you, this person's so great blah 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 but the thing about it is scorpio you'll tell on your damn self this person is strategically waiting whoever this is with these two kids there is some envious situations and jealousy but i feel like somebody will want to sell your story to the tabloids this person is going to publicly betray you and this is somebody that you had a lot of storms with in the past as well. This also could be somebody who constantly keeps seeing spiders, all right? And they are watching you. They're watching everything that you do. Now, this person could have really big titties. I'm sorry. It is out here. A lot of these women have really busty breasts. So somebody has a lot of big breasts here. And there's some secret envy here. Wow. The reason why this person is envious of you, Scorpio, is because their manifestations are not coming true, okay? So everything that they manifested for their stuff is not working or maybe all your manifestations are being shown to them and they're wondering why everything is working out for you and not working out for them this could be another fucking scorpio this person is going to betray you that shit is in the upright so get ready for this betrayal okay you could be wanting to be this person's friend because you feel like you know you left them or something happened something happened where it was like you were not a good person scorpio or you were trying to betray this person and it just wasn't the truth you know it was a miscommunication in some kind of way damn scorpio this is kind of heavy all right so there is a betrayal here this person is going to bring some storm in your life or they have already you live your life out loud somebody's going to try to reveal a secret of your past that they feel like could tarnish your credit your 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 character or something but with strategically out here i just kind of feel like you gonna tell on yourself bro <laughs> like you know what i'm saying like this person is not gonna win yeah you free you casual you single and you light so somebody just hates the fact that you just live a life where you're very free you do whatever you want you're financially supported and they're not they could be stuck in the house with three kids two kids it could be rough their secret is about to be revealed they're mad about that shit they're trying to strategically talk to you about it in some kind of way they hate the fact that you live your life out loud they feel like you did a lot of trifling things or they helped you get to these things but they didn't reap any of the benefits of the things that they did this is somebody who's smart as fuck does the jug for other people and then get mad that that jug is not working for them when they won't apply it in their own life that's unfortunate scorpio you got stability you stable as fuck three is a seven is what is called a universal year universal means that everybody will go through some spiritual shift in their makeup. Seven is the number of spirituality. And seven is a difficult challenge for most people because it's more spiritual. It makes you stop, look, and listen to figure out why you do the things you do. So for example, if you're walking around because it's magnetic seven, if you're walking around saying, man, I don't have no money, I don't have no money. The source will make sure you don't have no money. So it's what you think is what you will attract. Instead of chasing after what you want, you see it on the mental screen of your mind. And then as they say, you let go and let God. But believe me, for those of you walking around saying, I don't have this, I can't get that, the source will make sure it becomes a self-fulfilled prophecy.